So in this video, I want to talk about what it is to, on an embodied base level, be masculine and what it does to another person when you let them in. Before I do, I want to invite you to like, subscribe, and share. I really appreciate that. And as you have realizations in this video, definitely comment. Those comments help everybody to grow, and I really appreciate them. So let's dive in. What do I mean by be masculine? Well, there's the obvious stuff, right? People talk about it all the time. You got to take the lead. Uh, you got to be bold. You got to be direct. You got to be more literal. These are all qualities of a masculine being, of a masculine person. But I look at it a little differently from an embodiment perspective. So we had this beautiful five-day event with all the models and we had the guys and they're learning to let the models in. Most guys tend to push and that's why they have trouble uh, getting a woman attracted on a date or keeping a woman attracted in a relationship. They tend to push too much. So as they learn to let the women in, the next thing they've got to learn is to stay in their masculine. You see, a lot of guys, they want to be the seducer. They want to be attractive. They want to come from this Don Juan, I guess Cyrano de Bergerac kind of energy. You know, they want to be the rake from the art of seduction. So they want to lean in. Me and Zam Perry, I want to talk about this all the time. They want to lean in and be like, you're so beautiful. You're so attractive. I, I, you know, look at you. And there's this sense they want to be seductive. The problem with that is, that if they're not in their masculine when they do that, if they're not in the lower parts of their body, they're not in their lower energies that come like this, this little naughty boy, that's why they do it, this confident guy, that it tends to push women away. It makes them seem creepy, weird, nice guy, needish, needy, like a nice guy that's trying to be seductive. That's a better, better way to put it. Um, and it just doesn't work, period. It tends to be like, you're so beautiful. Look at you. Oh my God, come here. And there's this almost like a creepy vibe to it. If you really want to get good, you got to learn to rest or create space for the feminine to come in. You got to learn to now hear this rest in your masculine and polarize her into a feminine. Does this mean you have to be masculine all the time? No, not at all. You might be an artist. I know guys that are amazing with women that are total flow state artists. They're actually kind of feminine in their life. But when they get with a woman, they drop into their lower body, they drop into their turn on, they create space for her to be the feminine, right? Now you could argue, well, what if it's reversed? And there's a small percentage of people that are reversed. So you just reverse this idea. If you've got a woman that wants to be the masculine truly, which would be a very small percentage of the world, I'm talking about in relationship, not in business. And you got a man that wants to be the feminine, you would reverse this idea, okay? But so let's just throw that out right now. And let's just go back to this idea. What does it mean to rest in your masculine? Well, you got to understand that the body is filled with polarity, right? I got the outside of the arm. I got the inside of the arm. I got the front of the body. I got the back of the body. I got the front of the hips down here. I got the back of the hips, the, the sacrum. I got um, the vulnerable part of the neck. I got the supportive part of the neck. Now, that's all masculine and feminine. That's all yin and yang, right? This part of the arm is protective. This part of the art is sensitive and feeling. I can feel with my heart. I can feel with my throat. This is supportive. This is guiding. The pelvis, when we go down here, this has a more vulnerability, right? Of course, as we guys all know that. Um, and then this back here is the, you can ground down and in through the back of your legs, the inside of the legs, the outside of your legs. So as you become really conscious with embodiment, you begin to be able to be hyper aware of what part of your body you're feeling. I'm always feeling my body, knowing that the way I feel in my body and the way I create space in my body, hear that part, is tantamount to the success I'm gonna have with people, with women, right? If I feel a lot of my feminine, which a lot of guys that are approaching are because the world today is so feminized, the men are so feminized, right? They've been taught to be feminine. They've been taught to be needy. They've been taught to, they haven't gone out and been initiated into masculinity, into manhood, into their power, into their strength. They've missed all of that, right? No initiation, right? So a lot of guys are, are <laughs> I hate to say it, you know, they're living in their basement with mom and, 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 and letting mom take care of them or dad take care of them, right? So as you get past this, and you start to realize that you have, and I didn't have this in the beginning, I had a lot, I was all embodied in my feminine, I was a mess. You begin to realize that you have these 
strong masculine parts of you. They feel different when you learn to embody them. Now your body, your consciousness is not gonna wanna go there instantly, it might, but there's a good chance your consciousness is gonna resist it first. It's gonna feel these parts and wanna go back to what it's used to, unconscious competence, right? It's gonna wanna go back to what it's used to. So you're gonna feel these masculine parts of your body and maybe it'll feel uncomfortable maybe it'll feel weird so as you start to move as i'm walking right now i'm exploring what my back feels like i'm exploring the backs of my arms and this supports the inside of my arms right um to give you a little bit of a an understanding of this by the way there we go i love that church over there to give you a better understanding of this what do i mean if i lift this arm if I move my consciousness to the masculine part of the arm, the outside here, right? And I lift it, I can put my consciousness on the outside and relax the inside, which allows the feeling part to turn up feeling, to feel more. And if you do that through your whole body, you walk and feel your back, you walk and feel the back of your pelvis and flatten it more. So I can bow it or I can flatten it and walk in it. You'll notice you feel more masculine when you flatten it. You can walk and feel the outside of your legs so now you're feeling the outside of your arm, your back, the outside of your legs, and you relax the inside. You allow it to become more sensitive because it's not being used as much to move the body. Now, you don't have to overdo it. You don't have to go nuts with it. A little bit goes a long ways. And as I get comfortable moving and enjoying my own masculine, the sense of grounding into the earth, which I've got videos on grounding, right? And most of your consciousness is on creating space in your body for your feminine to feel and to be able to move in your masculine, I'm hopefully I'm explaining this well. Let me know in the comments if I'm not or if you need more explanation on this. Maybe I'll even create a meditation on this. You can let me know that in the comments too. You begin to develop this awareness that your, your feminine has a lot more feeling than you realize. Like you can start to, you can be tightening in the throat, tightening in the face, blocking, not showing micro expressions, not letting people hear your voice. And then you start to loosen and open it over time, over months, let's say, weeks and months. And your voice gets deeper, it gets more resonant your facial expressions start to become more alive. Your heart right here starts to connect up to here. And when your heart has a little oxytocin hit, it shows in your smile. And people begin to pick this up. You begin to, as you get these oxytocin hits and begin to feel good, because you're resting in your masculine, taking all the tension off of here and giving this the ability to express itself, to have feeling, you begin to affect other people. They feel your smile, they feel the genuine smile radiating from your heart, the oxytocin hit, and they light up. Now, that's the first part of it. Learning to rest in your masculine, this is how you enjoy the mundane, and enjoy life, like see the beauty in everything as I walk around. Even in the graffiti, and the art, and the, and the church, and the, everything I'm seeing right now, it's, it's absolutely beautiful because I'm leaving the feeling part of my body, the feminine part, to feel and enjoy. I'm not using it to muscle, which is so many people are vacating. They have sh toxic shame in a sense of their masculine. They are ashamed of their, and they, they're pushing into their feminine, living life through their feminine, trying not to offend. And their feminine can't in enjoy life. It's trying to do the job of the masculine, just like a lot of women in society are today. When men don't show up, they just want to take over the masculine and they, they come out of their feminine and go into their masculine. Now, imagine this for a minute. You're resting in your masculine, you enjoy your masculine, you enjoy your pelvis, which is really important, your back. You enjoy, relax, when you relax in your pelvis, you relax into the, you can feel the front of your turn on more, you feel the inside of your legs because you're relaxing into the outside for support, and you're just enjoying life. Now, you meet a beautiful woman, and you look at her, and you're doing the heart walk, vulnerability walk in this case, or vulnerability talk, and you let her in. And this time you let her feminine, as it comes in, fill up your feminine parts. You pull back into your masculine and you let her be your feminine. Her feminine comes in and touches your heart. Her feminine comes in and rolls through your body and you can feel it having an effect on you and it feels so damn good. She can feel that if she's connected to you. If there's a bubble, she'll feel you taking her in. And I was thinking about this the other day after the five day event, I could really see women just sink into a man when he knew how to gaze. If he didn't know how to gaze, they pull back, they get tired, they get beat up. But as soon as a guy knew how to let him in, like if I got in front of him or Mihai, who is kind of trained in this by his girlfriend who was, was worked for me for eight years, she's been teaching him how to do this together. 
As he got in front of them, they relaxed, they opened, they would cry, they would heal. And it was beautiful to see. And you just let their feminine into your body and you let it wash through your feminine over your masculine, like, like as if they're the river and you're the riverbank. So now you're moving most of your energy into your masculine, which causes them to feel safe and then want to move into their feminine and they get a little bit of that and then they want more and then they want more and then they want more and they're starting to have the, like in my last video check out my last video on having a moment with a woman you do that really well and you let her in you have these moments and she's gonna want more of that women are craving that and then you don't this is when you begin to realize why you don't need pickup lines why you don't need to know what to say. You can just say, hey, what's up? And drop into your masculine, drop down to your, your stomach, your turn on, the back of your, like really the back of all that and let her in and take a moment and just enjoy her, appreciate her, be curious, like, who are you? And when you're saying, who are you? You're not reaching into her. You're saying, who are you? I wanna, f I wanna understand that with my heart. I wanna feel that. I want you to come in and show me. And I'm gonna rest, right? So I had a massage. This beautiful woman wanted to give me a massage for my birthday, right? So I said, okay, must do it. And, uh, and what guys think they always have to do something. And in this case, my whole job was to relax and let her feminine run through my body. And when you do that, she gets so much pleasure out of it. She gets so much... She, she loves it, she enjoys it, you know? And the more you get in touch with your body, the more powerful this becomes. Now, one of the magical things, like they always talk about this in Tantra and Taoism and stuff, is that as a man, you can build up your sexual energy in your hips, and then you can begin to run that sexual energy up your spine, right? And I've been doing that for a while. I like to cycle my sexual energy up to my spine. There's that beautiful church again. And uh, it looks <laughs> looks better in person, I gotta be honest. And um, I began to cycle that energy. For years I've been kind of playing with that, just doing it, exploring it, seeing what it feels like. And as she was working on me, she could feel it. <laughs> she goes, most guys, when I work on the back of their pelvis, I can feel that energy stuck in the back of their pelvis. She said, I could feel your energy running up your spine to your heart. And I could feel you distributing it. She says, that was amazing, that was beautiful. And I made a conscious practice of that, you know? And honestly, it allows me to let turn on build up in my body and then run it through my body so it becomes pleasure for the day, enjoyment for life. And then again, I rest in my masculine and I let the women see me enjoying life. And then if they come over, I can pull back more into my masculine and let their feminine in even deeper, let it really take over the feminine for me. So for a little bit, we kind of become this bubbled one being. She's dancing in the feminine. She's becoming this big, beautiful energy. And I'm becoming more of this polarizing energy up and down. And you can see it in the videos when the guy's more up and down with his energy in his masculine, in his back, and into the ground. And then she's this more of a expressive, outward bubble of energy. And they're, they're dancing off of each other. And that is gonna make her wanna spend time with you. You know, I get a lot of married couples for this reason. Um, married men coming to wanna fix their relationships. I get a lot of uh, um, guys in relationships, guys that want relationships. A lot of my female clients have really gone deep with their partners and really built practices that have made amazing relationships. And one of the things I think I wanna to do to illustrate everything I'm talking about, because I see it in all of them, is bring some of them on. Maybe um, have them come on and talk about how they use this stuff to cultivate a deep intimacy with their partner. Because personally, I think it's beautiful. And it all started happening spontaneously on its own. That wasn't my intent, right? As I move away from dating to success coaching, I still want to keep this aspect of connection and bonding. And I'll still teach dating as much as you guys want. I'll keep the dating YouTube channel and the, the masculine, you know, the male, this male YouTube channel where we work on men's issues, but I'm gonna be doing a lot more work with what it is to wake up happy, successful, ready to seize the day, alive as a human being, male or female. And I'd love to see more of this energy out in the world because it really does make people happy. And again, you can go back 
to being an artist and you can pop right back into your feminine. This is what David Data is talking about with the third stage man. She can go right into her masculine and run a business. But when you couple, she wants to be that feminine for you. She wants to take care of you from her feminine. She wants to lean into your masculine. And you want to create space for that and it feels so good. And for all you guys that saying, I have to do everything, you'll find when you do this, you don't. <laughs> that you're creating the container and she's filling it up. She's doing a lot, sometimes more than you in a lot of ways, right? Um, and it's beautiful. So play with that. Practice today feeling the masculine parts of your body. Walk in them, explore them gently. Don't force, just gently explore. Feel the outside of your legs, the back of your legs, all the parts that are protective, and then feel the vulnerable parts of your body. Notice what those feel like and go back and forth. Oscillate between them. Notice what they feel like. When you talk to a woman and you practice the vulnerability walks, which you should definitely check out, we'll put a link in the description along with the uh, last video where I talked about having a moment. When you, when you do the vulnerability walks and you let her in, let her into the masculine, uh, you go a little bit more into the masculine parts of your body and let her cycle through and be your feminine for a moment when you're approaching. And notice what that feels like. Take the lead from that place. Take, be definitive from that place. That's where you start to do all that stuff from that place. Hey, let's go over here. Hey, let's take a moment, sit down, create a grounding moment for you too. Start to practice that. And I can get more into that maybe in another video where we talk about what to do once you're in it. But just see if you can get into it. See what it feels like to sit in that space and talk to people. See what it feels like to go back into your feminine and talk to people. See what it feels like to be balanced between the two and talk to people. And Practice those vulnerability walks, letting somebody in. Also practice polarizing a little bit, where you maybe you lean and push, who are you? And then go back and let the person in and receive them into your in. You know, push, pull back, but most of the time be receiving. So let me know if this makes sense. I get, I'm getting more and more of these abstract concepts. I usually only teach in events, and there's a lot more of it. Um, I just worry it doesn't come across well on YouTube. It's very practical and very realistic. It's, it's embodiment, it's, it's neurology, it's chemistry, it's, it's amazing. And this is what really makes us happy and really makes us amazing with women, really makes us amazing with life, um, really grows us. And it goes beyond embodiment too, as you get deeper and deeper into the spiritual principles where you move beyond the body. And that's amazing too. So definitely put a comment in the video. What do you wanna know more about? Are you getting the concept, are you getting the idea? What happens when you practice this? Come back and put more comments in and let me know what's happening when you're practicing this. And um, definitely check out my last video on having a moment and that other one on the uh, vulnerability walks. And now with that said, remember only the confident early live and I'll see you in the next video.